Jeff Baker here with Seabreeze Computers. If you have a Windows computer and you turn it on and all of a sudden you get this blue screen error message that says recovery, your PC device needs to be repaired, well what do you do to fix it? Here are some steps that will hopefully help you to fix this problem. Step 1, Windows Installation Media. As the blue screen error message shows, you'll need to use recovery tools such as installation media like a disk or USB device. So if you have a Windows installation DVD or USB device or can borrow one from a friend, then insert that into the computer now. If you don't have Windows installation media, then you can download and create it from a working computer by going to the website www.microsoft.com slash software dash download and then clicking on your version of Windows and then click on download tool now. After you have made the Windows installation media on DVD or a USB drive then insert it into the computer. Step 2. Boot to the Windows installation media. After you insert the Windows installation media, you will need to turn off the computer. You can do this by holding the power button for 3 to 10 seconds. Then you will want to boot to the installation media. One way to do this is by pressing the power button and then immediately pressing the key for the boot menu. This is usually the F12 key or the escape key. But it could also be F11 or F10 or even F8. Some ASUS computers might need you to press and hold the escape key while you turn on the computer uh, pressing the power button and then keep holding the escape key until the boot menu appears. On the boot menu, use the arrow keys to move down and select the DVD drive or the USB device. If you can't get the boot menu to show up, then you may need to enter the computer's BIOS and change the boot priority. To do this, you'll want to turn the computer on when it is off and immediately press the key to enter the BIOS. This is usually the Dell key or the F2 key. Some ASUS computers might require that you press and hold F2 as you press the power button to turn the computer on and keep holding F2 until the BIOS menu appears. Once in the BIOS, then use the arrow keys to move to the boot tab and then use the arrow keys to move down to boot option number one and then press enter to select it. Then scroll down to the USB device or DVD drive and press enter to select it as the boot device. Then use the arrow keys to go to save and exit and press enter on save changes and exit. If the only option for boot option number one is Windows Boot Manager, then you probably have an ASUS computer. Then you'll want to use the arrow keys to move to the Security tab, and then move down to Secure Boot Control, and press Enter to select it. Then use the arrow keys to select Disabled, and press Enter. Then use the arrow keys to move over to the Boot tab, and the down arrow key to highlight Launch CSM and press Enter. Then select Enabled and press Enter. Then use the arrow keys to move to boot option number one and press Enter to select it. Then scroll down to the USB device or DVD drive and press Enter to select it as the primary boot device. Then use the arrow keys to go over to Save and Exit and press enter on save changes and exit. When the computer is starting, make sure 
and press any key to boot from CD or DVD when it asks. Step 3. Command Prompt Once the Windows installation media starts loading, you should get to the Windows Setup screen where it asks for the language to install and the keyboard or input method. Press Shift and F10 on your keyboard at the same time to enter Command Prompt. Step 4. Backup Important Files At this point, you may want to back up important files. One way to back up your important data files is to connect an external hard drive or USB thumb drive to your computer and while you're here in command prompt you can type in notepad and press enter. Once you're in notepad click on file and then click open. Change files of type to all files. Now click on computer on the left and then go to your important data on your hard drive. You have to look for it probably in the users folder. Copy and paste it to your external hard drive. For example, to copy your pictures folder, click on your computer's local disk drive letter, which is probably C or D. Go to the user folder and then go to your username and then right click on my pictures and then click on copy. Now click on computer again and then go to your external hard drive or your USB thumb drive. Inside of that, right click and click on paste and that will copy your pictures. Step 5. Check hard drive for errors. First type BCD edit and press enter. Notice the drive letter at OS device and partition. It is usually C colon or D colon, but it could be another letter. Write this letter down as your OS drive letter. Now type the following command. Check disk CHKDSK space C colon space slash R and press enter. But remember to replace C with D or whatever your OS drive letter is. This will scan the hard drive for errors and it may take a few hours to complete. So you will have to wait. When it is finished, then take notice of how many bad sectors there are. If there are any bad sectors on the hard drive, then you will need to purchase a new hard drive and reinstall Windows onto it. And then you can copy your data from your backup back into Windows. If there are zero bad sectors on the hard drive, then that is a good sign. Try restarting the computer and see if Windows starts normally. Step 6. Repair boot data. If Windows still does not start normally, then you will need to boot the Windows installation media again and try the following commands at command prompt. Type boot rec space slash fix mbr and press enter. Then type in boot rec space slash fix boot and press enter. Close the command prompt and then try to restart the computer. Step 7 rebuild boot configuration data. If Windows still does not start normally then you may want to try this command at command prompt. Type boot rec space slash rebuild bcd and then press enter. If you see the message total identified windows installations 1, then press y to add the installation to the boot list. Restart the computer and then see if windows starts normally. Step 8. Repair boot data with system partition. If Windows still does not start normally, then you can try to repair the boot data with the system partition. At the command prompt, type bcd edit and then press enter. 
Notice the drive letter at OS device and partition. It is usually C colon or D colon, but it could be another letter. Write this letter down as your OS drive letter. Also, take note of system root. It will probably be backslash windows. So if you put it together, then your OS drive letter and system root are something like C colon backslash windows. At the command prompt, type disk part and press enter. Then type in list volume and press enter. Take note of the system or the system reserved partition. Write down the volume number. In the example here, it is volume 3. Then type select volume 3, but replace 3 with your system volume, and then press enter. Then type assign letter equals Z, and press enter. Now type exit, and press enter. Then type bcd boot space c colon backslash windows space slash s space z colon space slash f space all. Remember to replace c colon backslash windows with the os drive letter and system root that you wrote down earlier. Now press enter. Restart your computer and see if Windows starts normally. If it does not, then try this command in command prompt. bcd boot space c colon backslash windows space slash s space z colon space slash f space uefi. Remember to replace C colon backslash windows with the OS drive letter and system root that you wrote down earlier. Now press enter. Restart your computer. Hopefully one of these steps worked and your computer will be able to start windows normally without the blue screen error message. If none of these steps work, then you may need to back up any important files and reinstall windows or you may need to get help from a computer technician.